This is a step-by-step -step assembly video for the Convenience Concepts Oxford coffee table. The first thing I like to do is unbox everything, check the instructions, and make sure that I have everything that I need. As far as the wood goes, you'll have a top and bottom panel. Those are the biggest pieces. You will have four support beams, which are the long and skinny, and then two side panels, which are the ones with the X's on them. All of the hardware was in its own stapled bag, so I feel good that that's all included. For the first step, I am taking two of the long skinny pieces these are labeled with a five on them. You will see pre-drilled holes for the cam locks, which are part F. You'll need six for this, three in each one. From there, you will grab piece two, which is the bottom panel. You'll flip that up so you see the holes facing up and you will insert six of the cam bolts. You'll connect these pieces by taking the skinny narrow piece and dropping it down so that it clicks into the cam lock bolts. You will then gently tighten the cam locks and then you'll repeat this step on the opposite side. Now Next, you will need eight of the wooden dowels and then the two end pieces with the X's on them. The legs are considered the bottom here, so when you are looking at the holes, you'll want to put the wooden dowels at the top of each set of holes. Now this next part is a little tricky. Find the one with the X that is labeled three. You will insert that wooden dowel that's sticking up into the top circle of that bottom panel. Now for the lower hole on that narrow panel, you will be inserting one of the lock nuts into it and then from the outside of the left panel which is labeled three the one with the x you will be putting one of the bolts in and those have to line up that is a little bit tricky for this simply just due to the angle that you're looking at it you have to make sure that the opening of that lock nut is open and facing and ready to accept the bolt that is coming through here is a close-up of what that will look like you will know when it's in the correct spot because it will push in more and you'll be able to tighten it otherwise it will just keep spinning once that is complete you'll grab the two other their number fives which are the long skinny pieces of wood and you will attach it to the top portion of that x panel you'll do the same thing here you're going to need those lock nuts and the bolts and make sure that they align and you will have that wooden dowel that will go into the top hole on that piece five as well you want to make sure that the part where the cam locks will go is facing inward make sure you are tightening it enough so that when you let go of that piece of wood it doesn't just crack off you will go ahead and repeat this step with the remaining skinny piece labeled five after that, you will grab the other end piece, which is labeled four, another one with the big X on it, and you are going to attach that to the rest of the coffee table. You will do that by pushing the wooden dowels into the open holes. Again, when you're looking at this as if it were sitting upright, it is the top hole. You will then adhere the rest of it by using four of the lock nuts and four of the bolts and then doing that whole tightening thing again. Take your time. For the next step, you will take the last wooden piece and put it down with all of the holes facing upward. There are four spots for wooden dowels. Those are the wider holes. And then there are six spots for the cam bolts. Once you're finished with that, leave that on the ground as is. And then you will be taking the entire coffee table and placing it upside down onto that so that is the top layer so you'll have the feet going up as you're doing this and there are holes that all of these will drop into if you have someone around that can help you line this up that might be helpful i just started in one corner took my time make sure they inserted where they needed to and then went around to all four corners and then eventually it just all dropped in you are close to the finish line if you've gotten this far you will grab the six remaining cam locks you will see these spots for that on the inside underneath look closely as you're doing this you'll see where the bolt is coming up that will help you to know where to place the opening of the cam lock to make sure it pushes in. Then you'll go around to all six of those and tighten them. Now the very last step that is not even that necessary is putting stickers on over the bolts. I learned to not push them in very hard, just kind of place them on gently or else you'll be able to tell that there's a sticker there. Overall, this is made very well. It took me about 30 minutes to put together by myself, having never done a table like this before. Overall, I love the way this looks and it will be a perfect addition to any living room space.